So here's a program, a single layer, hidden layer, multi-layer perceptron runs on two GPUs. We will compute the gradients on GPUs and update on the weight on CPU. So each uh, box here is just a single operator. Runs back, um, then each arrow here, it means data dependencies. So, well, the problem here is that we want to run the things on parallel so that, but we have data uh, dependencies. We need carefully scheduling all the things so that as run as in parallel as much as possible, but also guarantee the result are correct. That's only single layer multi layer perceptron and two GPUs. In reality, we have hundreds of layers and tens of GPUs. So we have a huge computation graph, and if you do that manually, well, you're gonna, you don't know how to do that. It's hard to do efficiently. Auto parallelization means that you write just serial code. As here, we create A, C equals A plus two, B equals A plus one, and do D equals B times C. Then this is normally we write in Python. And what the backend wanna do that we can construct the computation graph. We showed that before. Then we know that C and B are independent to each other. That relies on A. We first wait A to be finished, and then C and B can be run in parallel. To get D, we need to wait both C and B to be ready, and we get D. So the system will find the chance to parallel your code, and so they'll try to run in parallel. So you don't need to worry about the performance too much. Okay, um, let me show a code how to run that. So here we're gonna use, using CPU and GPU to show how to parallel run things on both CPU and GPU. So here we define run function that is just to perform, uh, perform matrix matrix multiplication by 10 times and we create the X on CPU and X on GPU. So CPU, because slower, we create 2,000 by 2,000. GPU is a little bit faster, we create 6,000 by 6,000. So let's benchmark with synchronous uh, execution. Firstly, we run, we do matrix matrix multiplication on CPU and wait all. Then we, don't, we run on GPU and wait all. You, you can see that on CPU it takes 0 0.6 second, and on GPU it takes 1.2 second. Okay, this is run in uh, sequential. But without adding this weight all between runs on CPU and GPU, because we create two X independent to each other. So they can be run in parallel, which means we have two computational resources, CPU and GPU is per perfectly run in parallel. That is, we normally write the code, run something, run something, and this patch system we are gonna run in parallel and wait all. You can see that, well, um, let me reconnect. Okay, so if we're gonna run both, the total time is 0 0.2 seconds. Remember, running the thing on GPU takes uh, 1.2 and running on CPU takes 0.6. CPU time is slower, uh, it's faster, which means if you run in parallel, we just pay the longest workload, which is the GPU. We totally hide the CPU time. Okay, any questions? Good. The other thing, we know that CPU to GPU memory is the bank bandwidth is pretty small. You need to pay overhead to send data to between CPU and GPUs. So here we're gonna show that we can actually run things in parallel, computation and the communication at the same time, so to reduce the time. So here we do a copy to CPU for any X, X at least of arrays, we just copy to CPUs. So we're, uh, we issue multiple things here and the benchmark we first run on GPU and then copy to CPU as well. You can see that we spent again 1.2 seconds on executing um, um, 
the thing on GPU and 0 0.5 seconds to copy back the memory. You know that the copy is pretty slow here. Then if you run together, you're gonna see that we're gonna run, and the copy in parallel is only, in total we take about 0 0.1 second. Let's look into that. Actually, the run here gonna return 10 matrices here. Remember that at least. And at the same time, we're gonna copy the, the list of matrix to CPU. What we do here is that we wait, we should, the copy here should wait first the first result be computed and start to copy. And at the same time, we can run, we can do compute the second matrix and, and the copy as well, it's overlapping. Okay, so by overlapping, we actually can totally hide the communication time. Okay, any questions?